Remember who this? Kyle Plains Drifter, bitch. Ooh, ah. So today I am out here at Lake Elmer. Uh, first time fishing here. Um, this is a lake out in, in western, a little bit more in western Oklahoma. And I've always been curious about it, never gotten a chance to come out and fish it. Um, really warm day today, but like a lot of warm days in the winter time in Oklahoma, uh, it, it's accompanied by a really, really stout wind. And so um, probably talking winds uh, 15 to 25. Uh, maybe gusting higher than that and even out on a small lake like this this is only 60 acres are getting some white caps uh, tiny white caps out in the middle of the lake um, honestly I would probably not be out on a lake too much bigger than this on a day like today as windy as it is but uh, I'm gonna give this a shot and it, it gets to be on film for the first time for everyone all right let's get to fishing So I'm seeing some interesting stuff on the graph here. So I think what I'm gonna do, because of this wind today, I'm definitely gonna have to spend a decent amount of time anchored, but there's a, looks like there's a lot of submerged stumps underneath here. And uh, it looks like I'm seeing some good, some really good, uh, some really good spots. So I'm gonna pull up here, anchor, and then let the wind kind of drift me back down. Throwing more of a finesse jig here. It's just not really ideal for the type of cover this has. But I'm getting a later start than I should have today. And so I don't want to spend a lot of time retying. So basically with this technique, what I'm doing is just trying to drag this jig down around the bottom. Just letting it go slow. I'm not sure what is going on with the chickens back behind me. But those damn things sound like they're getting murdered or something. Like, what is up with that rooster? Even if you're dying, man, die with some dignity. Jeez. Water temperature today is 50 degrees. Warming up a little bit from last week. So here's the shoreline. I get myself drifting a little bit better because I'm going to try to hit this brush pile up here. My thought process of coming back over here. Well, first of all, it's out of the wind a little bit more than other parts of the lake. And the other part is too, a lot of these spots in the lake, out there typically I'd probably be hitting the points first. But a lot of those spots are spots that people can just drive right up in their cars and get to. So I'm trying to focus on the stuff that may be getting a little less fishing pressure. A little bit too far out from the bank or there's not like good access to it so I'll try to focus on those for right now what 
happened to my sunshine? Jeez. Of course, I cast nowhere near it. Important when you're trying to work a piece of cover that uh, you don't cast towards it. Now, here's what's interesting. So because I believe this bank is, this area has been getting more sun throughout the earlier part of the day, we're sitting at 52 degrees over here. Now earlier, um, when I was back further on the south end, we were sitting at 50 degrees. Now maybe those two degrees of temperature difference doesn't really matter that much, but I suspect this time of year it might. So one of the things I've tried to focus on when I'm coming out here and trying to fish in this colder weather is where I think it's going to be the warmest and because uh, I think the, the fish have more of a chance of kind of congregating in there you know so fishing up on the, the north sides of these coves little banks and things like that. One of the other things is getting more southern exposure. So it is just getting more sunlight period and it's also happening because of the predominantly south wind in Oklahoma. You end up getting uh, less water clarity on the north ends of lakes because the sediment from the south side is blown up along the north side. So in theory, it tends to be a little bit murkier up on the north edges of the lakes. And that darker, more stained water heats up faster. So again, in theory, that might help it hold fish. Now in practice, this is really, really shallow water. I don't know whether this is going to hold fish or not. A nice fish oh my god <laughs> oh my god yeah hey <laughs> there we go <laughs> okay nice and what's cool about this fish is too check that out man look at those red pinchers up there I've always heard that means that it probably means they've been eating crawfish throwing a jig I'm willing to bet there's some truth to that old saw then huh what do you think let me let me get him measured real quick all right saddle baby come on now Okay. 
Come here. All right, so that is right at 16 inches, but that is a really, really nice fat bass right there. All right, let's see. Let's see what he weighs. Okay, so see right there. It's a nice two and a half pounder. Nice fish. All right. I've been lesser long enough, sir. There we go. That's a nice fish. Okay. Come on. Make sure get a nice clean release here. Yep. He wanted to go. You know, that's the only fish I catch all day. Totally fine with that. It's a nice bass. You know, I came over that point earlier and didn't work it the way that I should have. And, uh, you know, came back, got a second chance at it. Lucky there. All right. I wasn't going to originally uh, do this for my outro. I was going to do something a little bit more sophisticated in the truck like I, I, I've done in a couple of the other videos. But uh, sunset behind me was really pretty, so I thought I'd just go ahead and do it this way. So, you know, first time out on this lake, really excited actually. You know, I, I caught, a, uh, caught a decent bass, you know, two and a half uh, pounds, I believe. Um, and, uh, you know, it was a tough day in terms of boat control and boat positioning because of the wind. So I didn't get to explore this lake as much as I would like to. Uh, a lot of it's pretty shallow. And it looks like to me that probably, you know, uh, later this spring and certainly into the summertime when I get a chance to throw some top waters, I think this lake will be a blast. So I'm super excited about it. Glad I made the trip. Uh, thanks for tagging along with me. You guys get out there and catch your own fish. Go out and fight the wind, fight the elements. And uh, man, Get off the couch and catch the fish. Catch you later. Bye.